Hello and welcome to CIS 125, day one. I'm your instructor, Victor Campos. This class is being recorded for playback. So welcome to the class. Welcome to the brand new spring 2024 semester of our class. There's a lot to talk about on day one. And I asked all of you to also log into the Zoom class to be a part of it. So let's see if it all worked for you. In the Zoom box, please type a quick hello in the Zoom chat box there, maybe a little a uh, fun emoji if you want that. Just type a little hello in the box just to see if it's all working for you. This is not required, but I find it very useful to have the Zoom uh, software here at the same time as we're in the class. I will be monitoring it when people have questions um, in case if you want to uh, raise your hand in class, of course, or if you want to ask a question in the chat box. Uh, I will be the instructor running the class, but we've also got three assistants at the moment. We've got one in person and then two online. I think they haven't come in just yet online. Uh, if they are here, yes, they are here. The assistants online are marked as TA. So online, we've got Clara as one of our assistants. Uh, they will also be on the Zoom chat helping out. Uh, we, we're going to have uh, Angela. She's going to join us on the Zoom chat as well. And at the moment in person, we've also got Alexandra right there in the back. So we've got three ways to get help as well as me as I run the class. Uh, how many of you, tell me in the chat box there, uh, how many of you, this is your first semester, your third semester, your 20th semester, whatever, tell me in the chat box, how long have you been at Southwestern College? Uh, and maybe your major, what's your major? Tell me anything you want there. How many semesters, how many years you've been here? What's your major, et cetera? all of that. Uh, if you're taking the class for the first time in this room, um, this is one of our newer rooms. It was just constructed recently. It's a room full of computers and high-tech stuff. As such, I do have to ask to be a little strict. Food and beverages and such. We've got a few signs around here. No food, no food and drinks in the lab. So today's the first day. You didn't know. But on the subsequent days, I will ask for no food and lab, no, no food and beverage in the lab. We will take breaks, of course. You will be able to pop out, go to the um, cafeteria, et cetera. Uh, if you have special needs and so forth, of course, I'm accommodating. Talk to me about it. But we do have to have the sign no food and beverages in here because these computers are brand new. If they get wrecked, well, we, we're not the only class here. There's like two or three other classes. So there's like hundreds of students coming in every day to these rooms. So no food and beverages, please. Um, I do ask in the future, you can, you know, don't bring them, but if you bring them, I do ask that you put them off to the side over here or in the back tables over there, away from the computers, uh, not on the floor, not behind your monitor where you're going to forget about it and knock it over or your classmate will. So that'll be in the future, about the food and beverages. Also, right now, if you haven't done so, please take a moment to mute your devices. If you haven't muted your cell phones, laptops, tablets, et cetera, please mute your devices. And at any point, if you need to take a call, take a text, et cetera, you're free to go outside. You don't have to ask permission or anything. Just go ahead and go outside and take a step outside if you need it. Bathrooms are also very close by. They're right outside this door in the little hallway right out there. You don't have to ask permission to leave. At any point, you can step out for any reason. This is college. We are adults. And to look at some of the feedback here, we got fourth semester, second semester, graphic design, second semester, video game design. Very nice. 2D, 3D animation in Maya, or uh, major is 2D, 3D. Very good. Third year, animation. Uh, lots of things have changed since 2009. Definitely. So many buildings are missing. Uh, art major, been here since 2019, right before the pandemic. Art, science, gaming. Great. Lots of feedback on that. Thank you. Those of you that this is your first semester, you're in luck because right next door, we have our office of the FYE, the first year experience. And that is a great um, service that you all have that are, that are new where you can um, get a lot of information, especially if you're new about what do I need to do to succeed? What are tips and tricks and free stuff that I get at the college? The first year experience is right next door. 
if you're a second year or so, we've also got the second year experience, which is also next door over there. So first year experience, second year experience, it's right over there. Uh, I'm also going to be writing notes right here. And these notes, I will give them to you on uh, Canvas once I finish typing them. Sorry, let me make that bigger. That's good. Uh, so I'm going to write notes. I'll give you these notes at the end of the day on Canvas. I'll show you where that all is at. First year and second year. Students, check out the first year experience. I guess the second year experience. Uh, department. And it's in uh, maybe Alex or or Clara. Can you look that up? What room number that is exactly? Um, it's right over here, sixty three A something. We'll find it in a moment. This is one of the benefits of having assistants. They will look up things on the spot for us. As for this. Be writing other notes here. I'll give you these notes as we go on. So this class is going to have the once a week on Mondays, 12 to 3 or so lecture. Plus, it's going to have Canvas stuff. Turn in homework on Canvas, extra videos on Canvas, get help, etc. on Canvas. As well as some open labs. So Monday... 12 to 3, live lecture, uh, Canvas throughout the week, uh, content, and then open labs uh, to be announced. I'll give you that info soon. That's not been finalized yet, but we're going to have these lab, this lab open for you to come in in different times of the week to get help or to use the computers. It's not finalized yet, but it's coming. As for the Monday, in person, in 63A107, this room, or on Zoom. And the Zoom link is on Canvas right there. So this is your first decision, especially those of you that are newer to college. You came out of high school. High school is very regimented. You have to do it a certain way. College is much more open for you. So for example, this class, the way I teach my classes, and not every instructor is the same, but the way I teach my classes is, if you want to come in person, great. I will be here. The, the room will be ready for you. If you want to do the class at home, that's fine. The class will be also live on Mondays, 12 to 3 on Zoom. So if traffic is bad, if you're having a mental health day, if you're having a family thing, if job is a problem, that's fine. You're not going to be penalized for not being here live, in person, that is. If you do the class live on Zoom, perfect. Or worst case scenario. Okay. Thank you. So we just got the info right here. The first year experience uh, is in room 103, a couple of rooms down there uh, to give you information if you're a newer student. Sixty-two A one hundred three, two, three, and two. Yep. It's one hundred three. Just one hundred three, and then it's sixty-two A. Sixty-two. Oh, I'm thinking about the other room. Okay, okay. thank you. <laughs> or worst case scenario, watch the recording. It's best from the top level to be here in person in the room. If you can't quite be here in person, there's the Zoom class which will be live. If you can't be here live, this is all being recorded. All my screen, everything I'm doing, my voice, the chat, all of that's being recorded. So if for whatever reason you cannot be here live at this time, there is going to be a recording, which you will need to watch. There is no fourth worst case scenario. You do have to watch the lectures at some point, and it'll be, you know, two to three hours long or so. Um, and at least, though, on the recording, what's cool about the recording is that you can fast forward, rewind, you know, speed it up, jump around, etc. So there's a lot of leeway for you to succeed in the class. Not every class is like that. My classes are usually like that. Either be here in person, do the class live, watch the recording. Because overall, however you get the class material, do the work, do the homework. 
however you want to do the class, at least do the homework by the deadline. If you do the homework by the deadline, you'll do well in the class, whether you're here live in person, watching the recording at one in the morning, um, however you want to do the class. Tell me in the chat box, do you consider yourself an early bird or a night hawk? So early bird or night hawk? Do you do mornings better? Do you night do you do nighttime better? Are you okay all day long? Do you need extra coffee um, throughout the day and caffeine and such? Red Bulls and all of that? Are you more of a day person, a night person, both, or a percentage thereof? I personally have always been a night person, more of a night person, but uh, I'm starting to see a little bit more as time goes on that I'm more into, uh, that I start to do more stuff in the day as well. Let's see here. We've got some boths, got some nights, 100% night, boths up by 6 a.m., getting it done. Both 50-50, you need lots of coffee all day long. 10 p.m. is the is the is the sleep time. Early bird and night. Yep, there we go. So we see a variety of how we all are. We see how some of us do great in the morning and some at night and some all day long. That's why I set this class up that if you're not a morning person, you know, noon is not really morning, but if you're not a morning person, you can do the class later on in the day. So on the first screen of Canvas here, I have my email address. But I have a note that the Canvas inbox is the best way to contact me. In Canvas on the web or in the app, there's the inbox. That's the best way to contact me, send me messages on the Canvas inbox. There's my email, which is different, but the Canvas inbox is better for you to be in touch with me for class-related things. And um, there's our Zoom link. When we and a little thing here that CIS 125 is part one of a two part sequence of classes. CIS 126 is part two and continues what you learn here. Part two will be in the summer. It's a little far to think about it. But eventually in the summer, part two will be out. And a few months before the summer, you'll be able to enroll enroll to it. So you want to take part one, of course, then part two, continue your education on these topics. Part two is coming in the summer. Part one is happening this semester. Let's do this. On your computer, open any web browser, and let's go to this address over here, catalog.swccd. But edu, you probably had a some kind of a talk with a counselor at some point. If you're a newer student, if you haven't, if you're a little bit here longer, you might not have remembered what you talked with your counselor about a while ago. It's a little bit of side detour thing here where we talk about classes for a moment. Catalog.swccd.edu. All right, so at our catalog here, here's here's everything about all the classes we we teach, um, divided into the fields of study. Uh, our class here and all of our computer majors are in basically in the business department. So let's find the business department section. Click on business, and then on. For our specific focus, CIS, Computer Information Systems. Let's click on CIS. Now notice also in our department, we have so many other things, not just our computer classes. We've got classes on accounting, business management, economics, legal stuff, logistics, um, et cetera. So for us, let's check CIS. 
And then on the top tab here, we've got programs. So here's a list of our various certificates and degrees. So let me make a list here of degrees and certificates. We have basically a class. Then we have a certificate of proficiency. Certificate of Achievement, Associate's Degree. I wrote them in this order because these are the various levels of skill. You take a class, you pass a class with at least a C. Okay, good. You learned some material of the class. You have enough knowledge. You have enough a credential for a class. It is the lowest level, however. Certificate of Proficiency requires three or four different classes on a topic. You pass those classes, you get that certificate of proficiency. That's a higher level. You have more of a credential, better for your resume, better for a job, etc. The next level up, more classes. That's usually like 15 classes or so. Certificate of achievement, higher level up, more education. And then associate degree, the highest level which usually includes everything in the achievement plus your general education or major classes plus general ed. Uh, and I don't know what it is there at the moment, English, science, PE, I don't know what the general eds are at the moment, but you do the general education stuff plus the classes of your major, you get the highest degree that we offer at the college, the associate degree, either in AS, or in AA, Associate of Art, Associate of Science. This is the highest degree that we offer at Southwestern College. Southwestern College, San Diego City College, Cuyamaca College, Point Loma, etc. The The community college, the junior college, the two-year college, whatever name we have, it's a two-year college. That's the highest level we can get to. Now, you might have heard of other degrees. Tell me in the chat, what other degrees have you heard of besides associate degree? You might have heard of at least one more. Tell me in the chat if you've heard of some other types of degrees, bachelor's degrees, exactly. So anything else? Are there any higher levels of education or any other types of degrees that you've heard about? Master's degree, exactly. Perfect. So bachelor's degree, master's degree, Somewhere there, there's a PhD or something. So these next levels up are the four-year colleges like UCSD, San Diego State, Harvard, et cetera. Master's degrees, those are like six-year degrees, also at UCSD, et cetera. Uh, and then uh, PhD, I think that's eight years or something. So two-year college, Southwestern College, in theory, you take take the, uh, you take our classes in theory, you could go faster, you could go slower, but in theory, you take two years at Southwestern College, you get your associate degree, then you graduate, you go on to four-year, six-year, eight-year, whatever, depending what your goals are. Of course, is the full range of people right out of high school, they get an amazing job. College dropouts get an amazing job. There's a huge range of experiences. But just to give you some of the information, uh, these are the various levels. Simply taking a class and getting an A+, plus, that's nice. What else do you know? Going up to the next level, I have these various classes, Certificate of Proficiency, great. What else do you know? Okay, I got a Certificate of Achievement, great. You and 10 other people applying for the same job. What else do you have? I have an Associate, great, you're hired. Or other people, okay, I've got three other peoples with an Associate. Well, you have the bachelor's degree, you're ahead of the competition. And there's competition in this space, and they've got a bachelor's too, but then someone else got a master's, they might have the, the leg up. So what do we have here in our classes? Here's some classes on proficient or certificate of proficiency. You want to learn to be a web designer. 02108. That one has just three classes. Take web design one. Web graphics, web imaging one, and HTML program. Three classes, nine units. You can do that in one semester. 
two semesters, four semesters, whatever you need, and you get the lowest of our degrees, but still more focused than just a class. Go up to the next level, achievement. Over here, we've got some programming certificates. So there we've got, uh, you got, if you're going to be a programmer, you've got to know how the keyboard works. To program on the keyboard, we have a class on keyboarding. Our intro to our various CIS classes, CIS 101. Programming in Python, one of the top languages to know, CIS 106. C++, another top language to know, CIS 115, et cetera. 21 units, you get the next level up of our classes. That can be done in two semesters, four or so. The highest levels, associate degrees. Got a, a few over here, but let's say the web design certificate. Some business classes, programming classes, web design classes, graphics classes, work experience classes, internships and such. Notice it's select one of these, this one or that one, 19 to 20 units or so, plus your GE, general education, math, science, et cetera, astronomy, whatever. And you get the associate degree, the highest degree we offer at the college. The college, however, is working on starting to have bachelor's degrees soon-ish, but at the moment, they're not here yet. And so if you want to then get to the next level of your education, if you feel that's valuable, you go off to San Diego State, UCSD, Harvard, et cetera. Questions or comments on any of that, either here in person or on the chat? Any questions about any of these classes, maybe a plan of classes to take, advice and such? Feel free to ask here or on the chat. Any questions? Um, on just a moment, let's take roll. We're going to do this thing. We're just going to sign in here. Put your name legibly here. Put your name legibly. on to everyone, please. So the thing was right too much to end this. Legibly and pass that on. If you're here crashing the class, go ahead and put your name on it. But when we deal with when I deal with crashers, we'll deal with that on the next break, which will be at about one o'clock or so. So for the moment, just sign in on that, please. All right, no questions on this. Let's move on to a few more things. Um Grab something here. Uh, that is adding the class if you're not officially enrolled, like on the wait list. Sorry, I thought I had this link ready. Just one moment. So uh, I'm going to put a link in the chat box there. This is for our CIS club. This is our Discord. This is optional if you want to join it. If you've got Discord. Um, that's a link to our CIS club. We've got a club starting up. If you join the Discord, you're not obligated to participate or whatever, but the CIS club is going to be a, an outside of class meeting organization for various events like field trips, guest speakers, um, tips and advice in the field, 
just a place for techie people uh, for our CIS classes. So if you're interested in that, join the Discord. I will mention it in other days as well. Um, not necessary to be in the class, of course. And um, one of the reasons also to be in a school club, that's another resume building uh, pro tip. You're trying to apply to various jobs and the more impressive your resume is, the better. And so if you're involved, I was a member of the Southwestern College Computer Information Systems Club. That looks nice. That looks like you've got effort beyond classes. Sometimes there's openings in the various clubs for president, vice president, and the various offices. That looks very impressive on a resume. I was the vice president of the Southwestern College CIS Club. That looks very nice on a resume. So at the very least, to have that as a sort of an extracurricular that you're involved in a club, in a department club beyond classes, employers and colleges for transfer, look at those things as well. Join that if you wish. We'll be up to giving you up to date on when events are happening. Said we're gonna have a lot of sort of informational stuff at the beginning, and then we will have the actual class stuff. Uh, every hour or so, we take a break. Uh, but at any point, you can take a break as well. Uh, but we're going to have our first break in an hour. It's coming this way. It's coming this way. It's coming this way. So it's just the next, the next, the next person, right? The next person. Uh, so let's take a look at this. In uh, I'm going to put this in the chat. The uh, follow that link there for a moment. This is our SWC Cares department. Uh, your tuition and tax dollars at work, not only do they pay for classes, they pay for so many extra things that you probably don't even know about that could be very useful to you or to friends um, that they don't know about. So SWC Cares, I put the link right now in the chat. Uh, scrolling down, for example, we have our JAG Kitchen Pantry. Um, we have free food. Sometimes, you know, outside of school situations might be tough. And we want you to know that here at the college, we are, a, we are more than just classes. We're a community for you offering many things, such as sometimes food assistance. You're a student. You get this assistant, no problem. Uh, so, yeah, that's coming. Uh, you get this assistant insistence in food various days of the week. You're a student. Here's a bag of food. That's it. Um, we have our, our emergency grants and such. You need some cash. Car broke down. Um, you know, rent is due, et cetera. We have uh, emergency grants. What else? Oh, our CARES closet. This is pretty cool. Let's say you're going to go to apply at a job. Unfortunately, yeah, you judge you can judge a book by its cover, and therefore the the person trying to hire you, if they see that you're not in quite a nice outfit, that might go against you. No worries. Here at the college, we have free, borrowed, nice clothes in our cares closet department here. Um, what else? We have uh, law services. We have uh, legal services. Uh, we have our whole our whole dreamers department. We have our, uh, you know, drug and alcohol abuse prevention services and all of this stuff, crisis lines, uh, free dental work, um, mental health services, help with FAFSA and grants and all of this stuff that uh, if you didn't know about, we have so many things useful for everyone. Uh, again, Southwestern Community College is here for you, the community. We got childcare if you need it, legal services, housing resources, all this good stuff. Your tax dollars at work. So don't hesitate to use these services. They are here for you. It's just that most people don't know about them. Tell me in the chat if you had heard of any of those. Tell me if you have heard of one or not and such. Tell me if you're thinking that one or two might be useful to you. Tell me in the chat what you think about that, our SWC Cares Department.
SWC Cares is here for you. It's there. Lots of services here. All of your tuition is paying for classes and to pay the, the, the bills for us as well, but we then put it all back to you in the community and so many services here for everyone. We are a very inclusive college for our veterans, for our LTG, LGBTQIA plus folks, for immigrants, for first generation students, for everyone. And um, it's all there for you. I'll be reminding you of some of these things as we go throughout the semester as well, because sometimes they just, you hear them one time and then you might forget them. So, the next items. Jumping back to our class on Canvas. Uh, these notes that I'm writing here, I'm going to put them on Canvas, and I'll show you all where my notes will be on Canvas, plus the recording. I'll show that all in a moment. So let's check that out. On Canvas, if you go over here to Canvas, let's browse Canvas together a moment. So the first page that you get here, I mentioned at a moment, there's some quick links right there. There's the syllabus. We'll look at that in a moment briefly, the Zoom link, et cetera. Announcements. I sent out an announcement. Uh, those of you that are the early birds, maybe you saw it when I sent that out this morning. If you haven't seen it, it's there. But I send out these announcements related to the class. You see it either on the website or if you have the Canvas app. How many of you have the Canvas app on your phones? You got the Canvas app. Okay, good. You also get alerted to it. But if you didn't get the alert, you can always go back to the announcements here and read it. So I was just saying a quick welcome and reminding you about the classes either in person or on Zoom. And it'll be completely okay, as I said, about you can do the class in person or on Zoom, whatever is comfortable for you. If traffic is a hassle, if the bus is a hassle and all of that, do it from Zoom at home in your pajamas, at the beach, whatever. But you eventually have to watch the material, either live or recorded. Syllabus for a moment here. I'm not going to read it word for word. You will at some point, but for the moment, I will check it out for a couple points. Oh, that I've already said there. We go from January 29th to the... Uh, May 24th, so it's too far to think about it, but eventually May 24th, we look at a calendar, May 24th, April, May 24th. May 24th is a Friday, just eventually in the future, May 24th, that's when the class officially ends. The class on the catalog says from 12 to 2.50, I'm rounding it up 12 to 3. That doesn't mean you have to stay in your seat until 2.59 p.m. You know, if you need to catch the bus at, you know, 1.30 fine, watch the recording later. If you need to go early for work, fine, watch the recording. If you need to get here late, fine, watch the recording. No need to ask for permission to leave and such, although do be respectful. Um, quick note about the doors in the room and such. That one here will always be locked, but the one in the back will be open. Actually, is the door still open there, uh, Angie or Alex? Is the, is, the, is the rock still on the door? Okay, so until they change the locks, only that one will be open in the back. You can exit this one, but you cannot enter it. The one in the back over there will always be open. You can come in and out of it. Uh, until they fix it, we have to hold it open with a rock. Uh, and you can exit anytime you want without asking permission. Just be respectful. Other info there, info about the course. Honestly, this is a little bit kind of old. I have to put it there for reasons, but the main material is more modern. Uh, some big ideas in this class. By the end of this class of 16 weeks, you will be able to create original characters and environments. This will be a very artistic class. This will be a class where you can be at all levels of artistry, which often relates to effort, time and effort. The more time that you put into something, the better it'll be. And oftentimes when you're doing something that you like, the more time you'll put into it, the better, the better it'll be. We're going to create characters and environments in this class. 
We're going to work with sound and motion in this class. We're going to hone our skills in stories and plot development. And then a little bit of public speaking, demonstrating your work. Uh, so you're going to have to stand up just like me right up here and talk to all of your scary classmates about your work. Well, we'll see. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. At the very least, maybe we'll do it on Zoom, but we'll see. Public speaking is part of the class because talking about your own work, hyping your own work, being proud of your own work is important. No one's going to know how good you are until you tell them. So things that are that class is about, learning outcomes. No prerequisites. No even even no artistic ability prerequisites. You can come to this class barely being able to draw a circle. That's fine. We have 16 weeks. You'll be able to draw a triangle soon. So you'll be okay. Uh, materials. There's no textbook required. You don't have to pay for any textbook. However, depending how you want to do the class, you have to pay for the software. I'll come back to that in a moment. Make a note right here. Do you have to pay for it? Yes, I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about that all very soon. So um, we'll cover that in a moment. No book requirement, um, internet access as usual, easy stuff. So class, participation and the like, basically doing your work, turning in your homework is going to be the main class participation. There is an assignment, which I'll get to in a moment, that is due this Friday, that if you don't do it, you might be dropped. More and more fraud is happening. We've just uncovered a new kind of fraud recently at the college. So one way to combat the fraud is for you to do your first homework, which I'll cover in a moment. And you may be dropped from the class for missing class too much, meaning missing homework too much. Again, I'm not going to require that you're here from 12 to 3 o'clock every Monday in person. It's up to you. We're grown-ups. This is college. But you need to do your work or you'll be dropped. I'll be in touch with you either here in person or on Canvas, sending announcements and messages and such. Every week we have a little bit of a plan to do, deadlines and such. Check that on your own. Assignments. A lot of creative projects will be in this class with a variety of jargon that'll make sense as we go on through the class. Grading is pretty easy. We've got pretty much everything is 10 points, except when it's not, like the midterm or the final. Talk about it, worry about the midterm. But it's basically halfway through everything we've covered so far. The final will be everything that is up to that point. So it kind of adds up to a certain point there. So that's coming in halfway through the semester. Plenty to learn. And uh, it's coming. Yes. I'll explain that in the class. And the question was about how are we doing grading? I'm using a rubric which breaks down every single thing, what every assignment is worth in every part of it. So it'll all be like a checkbox for you to do. Sometimes people ask that because I'm not going to be grading on creativity. I'm not going to be grading on artistic talent, but I am going to be grading on technical details. Did you do this in this way, how you want, but in this way, it's going to be a sort of a checklist of things, and we'll see that on the assignments. Late work. You want to do everything on time because mostly every week there will be some kind of assignment. They will add up if you let them slip by. Notice, though, one assignment is like 6% of the class, but you don't want to add, have them add up, um, stack up, and get more stressed. That's why I'm also, I need to confirm when it will happen. But besides our Monday meetings throughout the week, we will have an open lab where you can come here. The assistants will be here answering questions. You can work on the computers here. That has not been finalized yet. But... If you want to work on campus, that's coming um, because every point counts and everything's mostly 10 points. Everything should be turned in on time. There'll be late point deductions if they're late and such. But I know life gets in the way. 
uh, the job was stressful, family life stressful, etc. Here's a pro tip for college. Don't be an anonymous person on my roster. I don't know you yet by just your name. I don't know your situation. I don't know your talents. I don't know your needs, etc. until you're active. Either being active in chat, asking questions in person, contacting me on the inbox. And that is to say, again, if you feel that you're going to need a little bit more time for an assignment, and if it's a valid excuse, contact me and we'll see if we can work it out. If you don't, I assume that you knew the deadline and the deadline passed and then you missed the deadline. So make sure you keep track of deadlines. A lot of my other colleagues are having lots of trouble with these newfangled AI chat GPT things that you tell it to do the homework for you and it does it. Now, all about that. Technology and all of that is constantly advancing and it's amazing. And it can be a good shortcut once in a while. But in a class like ours, where it is very artistic and it's your work, why would you let an AI chat GPT thing do the work for you? Even in real life, in a real job, you know, never mind that you cheat and turn in some AI generated background and I never find out and you get an A plus. Amazing. That doesn't matter because in the real world, here you get an F if you get caught on the assignment. In the real world, you get an F fired. So academic integrity will be upheld. Do your own work. Don't plagiarize. When in doubt, ask me. But you should be all creating your own original work. And in an artistic class like this, it's kind of obvious you're creating your own work. You care about your own work. So some notes there on that. And then professional conduct. This is a professional college environment. Students may be removed for disruptive uh, behavior and such. Never happens. But that could happen. Online as well. Be respectful online regarding there's another person on the other side of these pixels. Right here, we see each other. We're respectful of each other online when you're behind a chat box. Maybe respect and such isn't as strong as it could be, but it will be um, expected as well. Keep it a respectful environment, professional environment. Various other services, check that all out on your own. If you have any DSS needs, let me know as soon as possible. We can make accommodations, no problem. Question. We can cover that together maybe a little bit later. Emergency plan. So the school sends out text messages, alerts, and uh, alerts on the various networks and so forth. Uh, if there's floods or the power's out or whatever, so keep to date on that. If there's an emergency on campus, also depending on the type of emergency, we might have a little alarm ring uh, somewhere. I think inside or outside. I think those. Uh, I think those exit light things next to the exit sign. I think those flash if there's an emergency. And uh, depending on the situation, I, I will take charge and either, you know, we will lock the doors and stay safely in place, or we will go out to the designated um, safety zone in the uh, parking lot. Uh, we did have a, um, a a fire drill or whatever um, last semester, and those things are so loud. Uh, so basically, we all walked out together and we went to the parking lot until it was over, and then we came back to class. But if there's an emergency, we've also got this right here. So. Uh, this phone right here, if you pick it up and wait a moment, it connects right to our police. If we need help, it's right here. So everyone should know about this right here. Um, if I can't get to it, uh, you're authorized to get to it in an emergency. Uh, we have a fire extinguisher over there. I have a few phone. Yeah, one put it in the back. Anyone want to use a fire extinguisher? No, just point it at the fire. That's it. Got it. So we two fire extinguishers, emergency thing there, and then uh, we'll be okay. Course map, check that out on your own. All of the links on Canvas. Here's the whole semester laid out on one page. Everyone wants to know when's the vacations. Here's the vacations. So spring break will be uh, at the end of March, one week. Looking at this right away, there is a holiday coming up that will kind of bump into us on February 19th. Uh, we have the President's Weekend. Friday is a holiday. 
February 16th is, is a holiday. And then Monday, the 19th is a holiday. We got a four day weekend in a few weeks. Um, we meet on Mondays, but it's a holiday. So um, we'll figure out what to do on that, but let me get some feedback from all of you actually, because you could also tell me here in the chat, here's some possibilities. You're not going to be required to come to class at all. That's, of course, it's a holiday. But possibly I could have the class on Zoom on that Monday. Tell me in the chat if you might want to come in on Zoom on Monday the 19th, which is a holiday, or no, you'll be at the beach. That's fine. Um, any thoughts on that just to get some consensus? Monday the 19th will be a holiday. It's not required, and, you will, and I will not be here in person on Monday the 19th but we might do a Zoom at that time, a short one, I don't know. Tell me in the chat what you think about that because we do want to use all of the time that we have here because we have a lot of things to, to cover. Uh, on that day, I'm expecting to start to talk about environments and backgrounds. I suppose maybe we could dump it all onto the fifth week, but then we have a little bit of time that we miss, but it's a little bit of feedback right there. So I wouldn't mind. Don't see harm in Zoom. I'm not a Monday. I can't I can't uh, change from what's officially in the catalog that we are officially here on Mondays. Uh, these classes, this room is is used all week long. So I, I, we just can't move it around, unfortunately. Maybe a Zoom, maybe a Zoom. So we'll figure it out. But we're getting some feedback there. This is democracy in action. So thank you for your feedback. As the time comes, we'll figure it out. But that's what our... Uh, semester looks like and then a full nice week time off right after the midterm to uh, to cry about it i mean to just relax on the spring break on the 25th and then all that stuff at the end of the semester we've got the final project and then work time and then it's due and such so that's the whole semester coming up with questions or comments about the class the zoom the syllabus, anything at the moment, either on chat or here, any questions so far? All right, so we still have more to talk about, but we're at our first break. Every hour or so, we take a 10 minute break or so. It's 12.51, let's take a break until 1.01. You can stay here if you want, you can step outside if you want. We've got the little cafeteria right at the corner. Bathrooms over here, water fountains on the other side of the building in the building 60. We'll be back. If you're here crashing the class, if you want to add the class, come on over to me. We'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, everything will be safe here. I'll still be. This may be a website design class. Is this actually expertise in website design? Actually, no. Uh, they might not have exactly told you quite right. No, this is not really focused on websites. It's part of our web design and website department. But this oh. particular class is not making websites. That's more art and animation and drawing. Oh. Video game program, but not web stuff. So it's just art, animation, and, and design, and not like constructing websites. Exactly. For that one, you need CIS 123. Mm -hmm. yeah. CIS 123. Sorry, it's just a mm -hmm. web design one. Eventually, CIS 256 is web design two. Okay. Eventually, but that's the one that is focused on web stuff. Oh, okay. Thank you. Do you know there's a way to, to crash a, a class that's only online? Because I see it on, on the catalog and it has one seat available. No, on that one, unfortunately, what you have to do is contact the instructor. Yeah. Okay. But I know. Okay. Good. Okay, there's the PSS form. No problem. Thank you for that. Let's take a quick look. So. Preferential seating, no problem. If you want to reserve that seat, we could, or if you want to get here first, whichever you want. Ooh, what's what's Otter Data? What, what is this one over here? Otter Data. Um, like a cool chat helper thing. Well, I'm not sure I saw that when I was signing this out. <laughs> okay. 
Well, anything that's here, that should be fine. If you want to sit at a particular place, perfect, no problem. If you want more time, no problem. Um, whenever you, um, whenever or time, um, everything is going to be due, except for this week, everything's going to be due on a Tuesday. Tuesday? Yep. So we have the class on Monday, and then we have the whole week next week until Tuesday. If you need more time than that, tell me about it, and I should be able to do it. Do you know if they're, if they're going to send me that on digital as well, or only paper? Well, send this. They tell they, the DSS tell them to give this to my professors in person. Um, last semester, um, I, when I was having, when I was in CIS web imaging mm -hmm. with a professor named Marianne uh, Gibson, Gibson. Mm -hmm. I sent this to her on the email in, you know, on here. Okay, I will take this. Um, if you can give it to me, I'll take it. And if you also want to send to but this will be perfectly fine. Yeah. That. So yeah, all of these accommodations should be perfect. So all the work is due Tuesday? Yes, exactly. Like uh, starting next week, for example, the first thing we're going to do next week. Yeah. Okay, so that week, that's that's a Monday, right? Mm -hmm. So next week, Monday the 5th. Uh, whenever we do the lecture, the work is then going to be due on the following week, Tuesday. So you have a whole week plus one day. Then next week, Monday, the homework from there is going to be due a week after that plus one day. So everything's going to be on Tuesday, mm -hmm. one week after. So by next week, we start the work here and we have a week to finish the exam. And do we have a, another assignment? The only one that's a little different is this week. This week we're meeting on the 29th and then it's going to be due on the 2nd. Well, I'm almost done with that. Okay, perfect. And um, looking on Canvas, it said that there is no required textbook, but there is a guide for it. Yes, the guide is free. There's going to be a link that I will show next week, I think. The guide is free. And is that to help us with the assignments? Or... That is a little bit extra because I'm going to be showing the main instruction. I'm going to be the textbook. Uh, it's going to be just a little bit extra in case you need extra. Um, well, I, I just hope this, this goes great because I took Miss Gibson's web design class last semester. So I hope this this one's this one's great. I hope so. I, I think so. It'll be fun. There's a variety of artistic things to do in this class. And if you like to do art stuff, I think it'll be fun. Thank you. You're welcome. Just work. Just to answer this question here, I wanted to know if you're teaching any other classes, because I only have this, uh, Anthony, this semester, I am only teaching this one class. Other semesters, I might teach other semesters or other classes, so just check on the cat. Okay. Yeah, that's perfectly fine at any point. If you need to leave, just wrap up your stuff. No problem. You can visit here or there. Okay. I'll get back better. And yeah, no need to check in. Okay. From that, then I'll talk about all the to um, uh, get rid of things like Photoshop. So, Photoshop.
Yes. Um, this is um, RIP 62 and 107, right? Yes. Because um, it was said right here that 123 is CIS. And this is the exact same one. That's I mean, weird because either. Oh, but see, check out. This is Different semester, yeah. It's easy to get hidden all of this info that was last semester. All right, everyone, uh, let's go on. We'll talk a little bit more things. We're not going to be here until three o'clock, but I will go on. Uh, a few more things to cover. So I'll look at a few more items on Canvas. We have to talk about the software, of course, cost of things, et cetera. Uh, so back to Canvas here. Check out the details of the syllabus on your own. The way the class will also further be set up. Now, this looks a little bit different on a web browser versus your device. Um, so, you know, check it out on your own, the differences. But here on a full computer, We'll have the menu bar where we've got these various screens. And uh, the big one is going to be modules. So every week, uh, Monday morning, a new module will activate before class or close to class or so. But on Monday, the new module will activate with the new material. And so it'll be a whole week of material. The way I count a week is Monday to Sunday. So the week will begin for us on Monday, it will end for us on a Sunday. And that's how it'll be designated on the module there. So when you open that up, you will then usually have some sort of welcome message to kind of preview what we're covering. We're gonna have the, the link to the Zoom class if you wanna do the class on Zoom, plus the agenda, uh, which we'll also cover in person. There's gonna be something about resources, important links and things for the week. There might be a variety of other random things throughout the week. There's going to be the Q&A discussion. If you've got a question, you can ask it publicly. You can, of course, ask me questions directly on the inbox. The Cyber Cafe, which is our off-topic community, that's where you can kind of congregate and chat on off-topic things, although, of course, keep it respectful in a school environment. There's going to be one or maybe two, usually one, homework per week. And all my homeworks are going to be due on Tuesday. That is the week, the Tuesday after our lecture. So, except for this week. But let's say starting next week on Monday the 5th. Every Monday we will have the lecture, we'll learn the material. There'll usually be an assignment and it'll be due the following week on a Tuesday. And the reason for that is the, uh, the extra time for lab time and such. Again, uh, we're going to have some time throughout the week. These, this room will be open for help, but we have to figure that out because there are other classes also teaching throughout the week. So we have to figure those times out. But I also want to add at the end of the day, you know, we're going to be here 12 to 3. And depending on my schedule and the assistant schedule, we might be here an extra bit of time for help and such, one-on-one -on -one help and such. So I wanted to set up that the deadlines will be on a Tuesday just in case you have your final questions after the Monday lecture. Let's say we learned something on the 5th, it's due on the 13th, you have final questions on the 12th before you do it on the 13th. So that's, that's how that'll work, except this week. This first homework is due this Friday because again, to combat fraud and such. But every other homework on the future will be due on Tuesdays the week after. The module will have some sort of wrap up to remind you what we covered. You might have already seen this yourself. So very briefly, just telling you about the class, the Zoom link. Keep your, you know, protect your health and the health of your classmates and me. That if you feel that you're sick, not so well, you might not want to come to, to, to class, um, get people sick, etc. If you don't want to get sick, etc., that's perfectly fine. You can do the class from home. I have the masks. You can take masks if you want. I got the disinfectants. But basically, uh, take your health in your own hands. Again, also don't get me sick because I have to teach this in many classes. So don't get me sick, please. Um, 
objectives, things that we will cover in the class, things to do. On, on your Canvas, at some point, you want to set up your profile because, again, I said earlier, don't be an anonymous person on my roster. And especially when you got the little anonymous person icon there, I'll never know who you are in the class unless you're active. I can't put a face to a name. If you're coming in person and I see your name on Canvas, put yourself a nice picture there. Um, set up your name so that I know who you are. I forgot to say this earlier. But when you log into Canvas, uh, I you know, obviously... Uh, if the name in the system is not your current name, perfectly fine. We'll figure it out. Contact me about it. But if you're if you log in as you know iPod One, iPad One, um, that's not so good. Have some sort of identifiable name in the in the Canvas so that I know you're in class. Uh, I might not let you into the class in the future if I can't determine that you're in the class. You know we don't need fraud. Uh, but basically, make sure you're identifiable in the class. If there's special circumstances, talk to me about it. We can accommodate, of course. Next week is when we start the main work, learning all of this material with the main software. So I need to cover the software today, and then by next week, you need a copy of it. I'll cover that in a moment. Live session. Here is where I'm going to put my notes. All of these notes that I'm writing, every week I will write some amount of notes. I'll have examples and so forth that I generate live, plus the recording. I'm recording all of this, remember. All of that will be added in the particular week's live session. Week two live session, week 12 likes live session, always in that particular week we'll have live session. Before the class, of course, there will not be any notes or the video. I haven't made them yet. Class has not started. But before class, it will remind you when the class meets. There's our usual Zoom link, as always, what to prepare, what we're going to cover. And any notes that I finish writing at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I will upload them right there. And then in a few hours, when Zoom finishes processing it, I will then upload the recorded video right there, archived video. And what's cool about the Zoom recording is, again, you can pause it, fast forward it, rewind it. Do any of you listen to podcasts or watch videos like on double speed or one and a half speed and so forth? Mm -hmm. Some of you do that because it's, it's faster. Instead of watching a one hour video, put it at 75 times or whatever, and it's you know three quarters instead of one hour. You, know, you, you sound like a chipmunk when you do that, but you know you get the material a little faster. I will be adding the notes there. I will be adding the recording there. There's also this AI summary that is currently analyzing the class. I'll also add it there. On that one, you know, you get what you pay for on that one. I'm not doing that summary. Zoom is doing it. So if it misspells something, it's Zoom's fault. If I misspell something on my notes, it's my fault. But... That's what you'll find under the live session screen every week. Resources will have some amount of links and what matters for us this week, student discount on the Adobe software. So in this class, you have two ways to do this. If you want to work on the material at home, outside of class, you need the software. So no book, but you need the app. The app costs $49 for a semester. That's a good price. Yes. On the link that I have right there, student discount. So you don't need no you, you don't need to buy it at the moment or anything like that, but um I'm pointing it out at the moment. Yes. If you did this for a previous class, you need to check if you still have the subscription because this one, for example, is for six months. So if it was less than six months since you took the other class, it might still work. But then when it runs out, you might have to resubscribe. So if people are going to do the work at home, you need the software, there's no book. However, in these labs, you'll be able to use the software for free. I'll cover how to do that in a moment. But those are your two options. Come to class on Mondays, do the work here. Come to the open lab times, do the work here. And you will not need to invest in the software. If you want to do the work at your own home, at a coffee shop, you need the software on your computer. And on that one, it is going to cost the $49 for a six-month subscription. Normally, the Adobe software is much more expensive. But as the student discount, it's a lot more affordable. see for one year $99 that's still better than the other prices that they 
offer for non-students. Yes, it's $99, but it's better than other non-student prices. You only need it for this class, six months. Our other classes, like our digital imaging class, CIS 124, also uses the Adobe apps. Um, our other web design class, CIS 123, also uses it. So many of our classes use it, not just this class, but you can decide what you like. Question. Do they no longer offer the option to purchase the whole package? If they do, it is very secret. But in the old days, you used to be able to buy the, the buy it off for one time. Now it's a subscription. I think nowadays they don't really do the one time cost anymore because it's not as profitable for them. So no required book, but the software, either for free in class or for pay at home. And we'll also have this free Adobe guide that one will supplement, that will be added to the class in addition to my lectures. There'll be various things that I will pull out for you to watch or read and such from the Adobe guide that is free. That's like free textbook thing. But the software is the only thing that's not free. You'll need it next week. Don't, don't buy it right now just yet, but plan on that, that that is the software we're gonna use. That's the app we're going to use for this class. More detail, I'll come back in a moment, but I will say here, uh, materials. Notebook. Be guide online. Will be animate software, part of the Adobe Creative Cloud. That's the whole official name. either access on campus or by for your own computer, $49, $49.99 for six months, one semester. SWC resources, check these out on your own. These are these extra things that we have besides the class stuff like the SWC Cares, the library, all that stuff. Check that out, out on your own. Apparently, we've got like an online digital nurse and such. Quick reminder on netiquette, internet etiquette, just to be respectful, no harassing, et cetera. Remember that there's a there's a classmate on the other side of the screen. Q&A discussion, you can ask questions here publicly. I will try to respond Monday through Friday uh, as soon as possible. If I, if I don't quite respond as soon as possible, you can also contact me via the inbox. If you feel you have the right answer to respond to your classmates, go ahead and respond. That's perfectly fine. Make sure it's the right answer, however, before you respond. But here you can uh, have a question and answers. Cyber Cafe, this is off topic, optional. This is if you want to share, oh, I just saw this really cool app. I figured out this cool way to, to draw, uh, to, to make a walk cycle. I found this very nice tutorial on designing a background quickly. You know, share any class related material here, off topic stuff if you want, although keep it again for professional in class and college. The first homework, 10 points due this Friday. Got 11 submissions so far, very good. This is a little introductory thing. As much as you are comfortable with answering here, let's get to know ourselves a little bit. The deadline here, plus the rubric of how you're being graded is found on every assignment. It's going to tell you when it's due and the time. Always check that. And then depending on the assignment, on the top right corner, you might see show rubric. That's that little check mark checklist that I will use when I grade people. I will explain the grading in the assignment, but I will also show it as a check, check boxes in the rubric. At the moment, for this first assignment, you have to do one part and another part. You have to write your first part. There's, there's a wiggle room for grades, and then a second part, wiggle room for grades, 10 points. 
And what you're doing here is you are first posting your answers here as much as you feel comfortable posting. Um, remember, this is a public discussion. We all see each other's work and answers here. Post your first part here and then respond to at least two classmates intelligently, of course, not just a thumbs up emoji. You need to respond with a little bit of a sentence on these possible topics and respond with these or make up your own response that is intelligible. But two classmate responses plus your post, that adds up to 10 points. Various nuance in grading. Once again here, answer the first parts of the questions, write at least a sentence each, reply to at least two classmates, write a sentence. Um, do that by the deadline. And I started off a little part right here. So my own response to these items right there. You can respond to me if you want, but I do have here, please respond to your classmates. I'm not your classmate. So you could respond to me, but that's not going to count for the grade. And um, your classmates are your classmates. So one thing about my classes, the way I teach them, I do care about details. And the details, I always put them in the assignment. So there should be no ambiguity of, why did I get a 9 out of 10? I thought I did it perfectly. And I go back to the assignment and say, you didn't do this bullet point. You might have done the other ones perfect, but you didn't do one. That's not perfect. So make sure you follow the details of my assignments, the rubric, et cetera. The reason that I have to be a stickler for details and such is if you go off in a job or a project or wherever you go beyond school and they care about details, never mind about getting a bad grade, what's the bad grade in a job? Get fired. So details matter even in an artistic kind of a class because you often will be contracted by someone or working with peers and teams and such. So details matter. So we've got a few responses so far. I'll check these out. I'll grade them and such and respond later. That's the first assignment. It's due Friday. The other assignments in the following weeks, and usually, pretty much always, you will have more time. If I give the assignment on Monday the 5th, it'll be due on Tuesday the 13th. If I give an assignment on April 8th, it'll be due April 16th. Everything will be due the Tuesday after the lecture, except this first assignment. And then the week will wrap up. So we covered. Here's some extra stuff. To create a sense of community, post in the Cyber Cafe about your favorite movie or genre. Optional, not graded or anything, but to create a sense of community. Sometimes I'm going to put little extra things there. Uh, just to connect with your classmates and such, or I'll put extra links and extra things. And next week, that's when we're going to start using the app. Uh, as per the syllabus, we have a whole plan for the 16 weeks. We're going to go week by week on that starting next week. Question. 16 weeks plus a special 17th week of finals. So 17 weeks, but 16 weeks at the same time. Uh, yeah, and the, and the spring break as well. Yeah, that's in there too. That, that sounds right. Yes. And then when it's not spring break, then it's other winter break and such. So, yep, always check the syllabus because that has all the info. All right. So, um, is the last thing that we'll do today and we'll wrap up a little early. I keep talking about the Adobe software. Well, let's check it out, actually. It's installed on all of these computers. Here's what we're going to do together. Whatever you're doing on these computers, go ahead and just uh, minimize your icons or whatever. Go to your start menu. And we have Adobe Animate. Everyone start it and just let it start. Don't do anything, but just start it. And I'll tell you what to do in a moment. So just go to the start menu, start Adobe Anime 2024. Wait a moment.
right? So if everyone started the software, it's going to ask you to sign in. So here's the part where we're going to have to do a little experimenting here because uh, they change the apps all the time in this room. So as soon as mine starts up, you'll have a screen that says put in your email, I think, and then your password, I think. So let's try this. We're going to try it in a couple of ways. One of these ways will work, but we just need to experiment which one, which way works. Uh, I, I think we'll try it this way. On the email address, just type your school email right here. Email address and continue. I'm not for people, here's what we need to do. If it crashed for you, if it crashed, you need to do this. Down on the start menu on an empty spot, uh, you can click right, well, uh, right click, try to right click on the uh, on the animate icon on the bottom, right click on it and see if you can click close window, see if you can force it to close up. And then start animate one more time. Try to right click it to close it and then start animate.
yes, on the blogs, yes, on that, and take a moment to follow their little tutorial. We'll do that for a moment. Log in. It works sometimes with your Google on Google. Thank you for that. It seems everyone else worked without the Google one, but that might be a thing to try in a moment. For everyone else, let me catch up with all of you. Actually, I don't know if it'll show me the same thing as, as all of you, because I am not new to Adobe. One moment. Okay, so if you got up to the screen like that, click the yes and follow their little tutorial or, sorry, their little video. Um, forgot to say about this. So obviously do not play the video with sound. Um, if you have headphones, you can plug them in or just watch it. So just watch that for one quick moment. So, uh, I hear it at the moment, but that's okay. You don't want to turn the volume up on that, but you saw this video had all of these amazing things that it was showing uh, about being able to animate characters and doing things like this, which is known as rigging, where you draw an arm, for example, and you animate it so that the arm moves to grab something like with bones and things. We saw transparency and all of this cool stuff. So this software lets you do very advanced things of animation as well as video game creation. Uh, it's all this very advanced software that's been around like literally by now, maybe 30 years, 25 years. And there's been a bunch of real TV shows and Hollywood movies that use Adobe Animate. The old name of it. Here's a here's maybe a trick question. I, I don't think, uh, depending how old you are, does anyone know the old name, the version 1.0, the grandfather of Adobe Animate? Adobe Flash? Adobe Flash was the old version of this, which has been evolving throughout the years. Adobe Animate is the new, exactly, Flash. Adobe Animate is the newest generation of it. And Flash has been part of the web and animation and gaming for decades. And 10 years ago or whatever, they changed to Adobe Animate because it does way more. With Flash, what does that even mean? But Adobe Animate. So it's powerful software. Once you watch this video, you can close the video. Then you get here a few videos. Um, there's six of them to choose from here. Uh, these say they take about 10 minutes or so. Pick any one of these that you want. Follow the tutorial. And at the very end, when it says you completed it, call me over. And um, I'll mark you that you did an in-class thing here. But pick any one of these. Watch the tutorial. And then call me over when you're done with it.
for the moment and now this is my thing. Let me interrupt everyone for a moment. So once we got the speed bump out of the way of starting Adobe Animate, let me tell you this. So as I said, uh, the software will be free for you to use in this room. You just logged in as exactly as you did, and there it is, ready to use. At home, if you want to do the work at home, you do have to buy the software at $49 for the semester. And then you'll be able to work on it at home or here. If the $49 isn't quite doable at the moment, that's fine. Do the work here on class. As I said, we're here on Mondays, 12 to three. We might not do all the way 12 to three. We might go like 12 to two and there might be an hour lab time. You can stay and work or take off and work later. We might be here from 12 to 5 to 2.55 doing work and not have lab time. And again, we're trying to figure out which days of the week we're going to have open labs so that you can come in and do the work here, ask the assistants for help. We're figuring that out. Um, that's why you don't need the software until next Monday. So if you want to save up on the paycheck or whatever for that, you could. If you're just planning on using the software here for free, that's a way to do it too. But the only way you get it for free is on campus. If you want to do the work at home, you need to subscribe to it. Um, this is very cool, complex software. We're going to spend the whole semester learning all of these panels and menus and all that stuff and original drawings and environments and animations. These little quick tutorials here, I picked the bounce animation. This has got seven steps. But even on these seven steps, there's like 20 sub steps. So it's complex software, but it's very creative software. A lot of what this class will be about in the beginning is just wrestling with where's the button that I need? Where's the tool that I need? Where's that panel that I used a day ago? Just getting used to the software is going to be in the beginning. Then when you get good enough with that, it'll be uh, a lot easier. Another reason to also come to class in person is when we get to the artistic drawing stuff. Well, if I have right here, plain paper and pencil, I can draw a really cool character, paper and pencil. I can't quite do that on a mouse. No problem. I've got a cabinet full of Wacom pen tablets right there that I can check out for you only when you're in class. Can't take them home. Have a full of nice big 20 inch tablets, drawing tablets that you can do the work here in class. Cannot let you take them home. Um, probably during lab time, open lab time, you'll be able to check them out as well once we finalize when that's gonna happen. So another reason to come in person. If you wanna do it at home on Zoom, great. You just need the software for yourself. Starting next week, we're going to learn all about the interface, the tools, et cetera, et cetera. For today, if you do one of these tutorials, 
then when you get to the end of it, call me over. I'll check you off here and you can go home. If you want to stay longer and do more of these tutorials, these are all found over here. Help, hands-on tutorial, there's a bunch of them there. You can do as many of them as you want today or by next week or whatever, or none of them. That's fine. We're going to do these things together starting Monday. For today, just to get a little bit of practice here, play with one of these tutorials, complete it, call me over, I'll check you off. You can leave if you want. And then next week, we will start the real stuff, learning everything as per the syllabus. So at this point, I'm going to kind of officially end the class. Uh, I'm going to stop the recorder. I'm going to put all my notes on Canvas, finish that tutorial, call me over. Then you can go home if you wish, do more tutorials if you wish, whatever you want. I'll be here until two, until 3 o'clock, 2.50 technically. Uh, myself and the assistants, and this is our first day of class. Once again, CIS 125, I'm your instructor, Victor Campos, with our assistants, Alex and Angie, and Clara online. We're going to make a lot of creative stuff this whole semester.